All right, folks, this is great part three of our grading tools. So uh, just to recap, uh, if you check out in your site section, uh, in the last segment, we built uh, some feature lines uh, from a existing polyline that will define our uh, building pad footprint. And uh, we assigned some elevations to that uh, footprint. Uh, so we're a few meters above the existing ground surface. Now we're ready to actually apply some grading. Uh, so please check out the uh, grading criteria so you understand how the grading criteria is applied to your feature lines. But uh, once we've got all that in order, now we can go ahead and select the grading tools under the uh, grading menu in the home tab on the ribbon. So we'll select that drop down, go grading creation tools, and uh, up comes our little toolbar. We'll want to uh, check a few of these settings first here. So the first one is we're going to make sure that uh, we set the grading group because what's going to happen is we can create a grading group which consists of a number of grading objects. There can be one or more grading objects inside this grading group so for instance we'll start off with one grading group where we will daylight from the footprint down to the existing ground surface uh, and then maybe we'll add in some additional uh, grading objects on top of that later but first off let's go ahead and create a grading group so it asks you what site you want to build it in and uh, I would highly suggest that uh, you keep everything in the same site location so if you've got your feature lines located in a site keep your grading groups also in that site too all right so I'll say okay it'll come up with a, a dialog box ask me for a name so I'm gonna call this uh, building uh, pad and uh, we'll leave the automatic surface creation off for now just so we can see how this works a little clearer but uh, we'll add it in afterwards so I'm gonna say okay and uh, it will design a grading group for me notice that it's been built there now I just have to supplement it with some actual grading and I want to just keep moving through these menus here so the next thing is uh, you want to make sure you set the target surface properly if you've got more than one surface in your uh, project then go ahead and pick the proper one and uh, lastly, if you've defined other grading criteria sets, make sure you've got the one uh, assigned there that you want to use. So uh, let's go ahead and grade uh, from our footprint down to our existing ground surface. So in this case, what I'll use is my grade to surface tool. And uh, remember, there's some defaults that are set over in the settings tab uh, under your grading criteria. So if you uh, go ahead and take a look at that, uh, there'll be some default settings listed here, but you can always change those right on the fly. So if you have set a certain grading criteria that you want to use, go ahead and hit your little editor button there and up comes this box. So in this case, you know, maybe we might want to uh, ease up on those slopes a little bit. Uh, use maybe a, a gentler 4 to 1 slope for our edges. I'll say OK. And the next box here, under this drop down, uh, make sure you go and hit create grading. And uh, it's going to ask you, I'm just reading on the command line now, it says select the feature. So I'll pick my feature line and then it says what side of the grading object do you want to grade to. So in this case I'll want to grade to the outside. And uh, it asked me do you want to apply it to the entire length, yes. Uh, that option is there just in case you wanted to change the uh, slopes at certain portions along the feature. So I will go with the defaults that I had set in the grading criteria. And uh, there is my grading object. And when I'm done, I can go ahead, enter a couple times, and then escape out of the command. So there's my grading object. And I should have something now built in the, uh, the grading groups. So you'll notice if I hold my mouse over top, it says there's one grading object in that grading group. And that's my grading to the footprint. So uh, these little triangles here just represent the uh, vertices. And uh, as you zoom in or out and regen, they will get bigger or smaller. So uh, don't be con too concerned about that. But what's important is this is my original footprint here. This is my feature line that's now been graded to the uh, existing ground surface. And each grading object has its own little triangle or diamond, sorry, that's uh, assigned to it. And that's how you can go ahead and select your grading object. So if you want to make some edits to it, you can go ahead and pick that little diamond. Uh, go into the uh, right click menu and select your grading editor and you can make changes there on the fly if you like. There's also some other tools as well. If you want to check out what your grading object look like, go ahead and select that little diamond and then right click and uh, check it out in the object viewer and uh, there's your grading tool. So there's my footprint pad uh, that we have just built. We'll add some more stuff to it uh, in a minute. 
Okay, now I can add other grading objects to my grading group if I want. For instance, maybe I would want a, a slight slope from my footprint upwards at a uh, specific elevation. I can go ahead and uh, use one of the uh, maybe grade to elevation or maybe relative elevation. So if I use this option here, uh, I can go to my editor and notice you can also hit a drop down button here if you want to add that as well. So I'll say maybe from my uh, footprint, I'll grade uh, up perhaps two meters and I can come in there and change that that uh, option there I'll grade up two meters at maybe a slope of three to one and we'll just see how, how that reacts and what that looks like I can go ahead and say okay and then just go back and create my grading group or grade new grading object so I'll select the inside uh, footprint there and uh, pick that point it asked me which side I want to grade to now in this case I want to grade to the inside so I'll go ahead and pick a point somewhere on the interior uh, and then it'll uh, run through the questions again asking me those uh, same values so go ahead and hit enter say okay notice now I've got two grading objects uh, number one and number two and we can take a look at those together uh, in the grading group so you'll notice here I've graded at a relative elevation up two meters from my footprint. So the first uh, grading object, uh, this one out here grades down to the existing ground and then I've got one that grades upwards to the uh, relative elevation of two meters. So uh, now it's got a kind of a hole in the middle and in this case what you usually want to do is create an infill. An infill fills in hollow grading objects. So you can select this option here pick somewhere in the middle, it has to be a closed grading group, notice how it selects the interior, go ahead and pick a point uh, and then hit enter and that'll end the command. Now you can uh, grab both of those, uh, all three of those grading objects, pardon me, and check it out in the object viewer and now you should have one solid uh, object listed there. So there's your grading tools and uh, that's it for that segment. Thank you, bye now.